Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna find out how you can upgrade your Tel Latitude 3330 or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course you're gonna see how you can open up this little machine and we're gonna have a closer look on the components as well. Okay first things first you need to remove the back panel to do that loosen all the screws on the back panel they do not come out so you can just loosen them. I'm using pretty standard Phillips screwdriver there I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're looking for a similar one they're cheap and it comes with 57 different bits so it's gonna be useful in other jobs as well okay I'm using a little plastic tool there to remove or open the back panel if you don't have similar thing there to use I recommend using anything plasticky credit card whatever do not use screwdrivers or anything made out of metal knife etc it's just gonna break your back panel or laptop itself as you can see it comes off easy enough so there's a bit of a closer look now. And by the way, at the end of this video, we're gonna have a little boot up to Windows, so you're gonna see the specs of it as well. And that's an inside look of the back panel, just in case you're looking for a spare part or anything. And that's the, that's the look now. That's how it looks. Upgradable, a little bit upgradable, not too much now. We'll get to that in a few moments. That's your battery, of course. We're gonna have a closer look on the components in a few minutes as well, so that's your solid state drive under that. That's your CPU, not upgradable, of course, soldered to motherboard. And that's your CPU fan. That's your Wi-Fi card. And as I said before, it's upgradable as for SSD. That's your battery, of course, serial number if you're looking for the same one. It's just gonna be easier for you to find. Great batteries actually got five hours out of this laptop and it's a used laptop, it's not brand new. That's your solid state drive now under that. CPU and CPU fan, of course. And that's your Wi-Fi card as well. It's very compact. Not too much you can upgrade, solid state drive, that's all. This laptop has eight gigs on the board, so that's all I'm, that's what I'm stuck with. Okay, we're gonna upgrade the solid state drive now. At the moment, there's a 256 gigabyte solid state drive on it, and I'm gonna upgrade that to one terabyte Samsung drive. It's a smaller factor kind of a drive, so it has a bit of extension there. Just remove that one screw. Okay, bit of a closer look again. And as you see, it's 256 gigs. Not bad drive, fast enough, but just as for space, you kind of need a bit more, I suppose, these days, so. That's the reason for upgrade as well. And that's what's gonna go in. Samsung 970 EVO Plus. One terabyte, of course. Great drives, pretty cheap as well. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for same or newer model. So if you're looking for one, it's gonna be just easier for you to find it. And as I said before, RAM is not upgradable. If you manage to buy very same laptop with 16 gigs of RAM, that's very good for yourself. Now you have more RAM. This one is only 8 gigs, not upgradable, downgradable, changeable. You're stuck with that and that's it. That's just a closer look now on the solid state drive itself. And you don't need that little extension thingy there anymore. Just use the same screw what you took out before. And screw it back in. And that's pretty much the upgrading done, since I said RAM is not upgradable, CPU of course not upgradable. So that's the upgrading done. I'm just gonna close the back panel now and we're gonna boot into Windows and you will see this tray works, everything works on it, perfect. Only thing now, when you are changing your solid state drive, you have to, you will have to reinstall Windows again, so that's the, that's half an hour 
and you're done. With this one now there's gonna be Windows 11 on it of course so and it actually runs pretty well. Can recommend them they're not that dear to buy I suppose especially used ones so and same way as you took the panel off now, try to be gentle enough to put it back in. And you see, as you see, all the screws are there, so just screw them back in and you're, you're good to go. And all left to do now is install Windows, install the drivers, and you can start using your laptop. We're gonna boot into Windows now and you'll see yourself. Okay, we are here now. We're gonna go to the this PC right click on it go to properties of course and you see the specs here it's latitude 3330 11th generation i5 great cpu i suppose 8 gigs of ram and that's it 8 gigs i'm gonna show you now a bit more specs on it so go to device manager here okay that's pretty much it if it was helpful for you do like the video, subscribe, and you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.